Eat Predators is here today at Sony Music. We believe that they're protecting predators and silencing victims. This is Rob Stringer. He is the CEO of Sony Worldwide. I would like to read an open letter that was written to Mr. Rob Stringer. Choosing to ignore abuse or worse, glorify a perpetrator of abuse has a cultural effect far beyond one individual artist. Sony's actions have time and time again told survivors of violence and would-be perpetrators that there will be no consequences for abuse. It is time that this record of complicity come to an end. Establish a clear zero tolerance policy applied fairly across race, gender, orientation and other identities that states your label will drop any artist with an allegation of or domestic violence against them. Note, believe all survivors. So we move over here to Sony Music, a safe haven for predators. We believe that Sony is protecting uh, predators and silencing survivors. Uh, actually, on the other side of this is a clear example of it. We have an alleged Diplo that is still on Sony Music. On the other side of this one, we have a woman named Julie Swidler. She is the executive vice president of Sony Music. So basically why we put chief of NDAs question mark would be because let's say you're an artist or an employee that got assaulted by someone in the work environment. Julie Swidler most likely would probably have you sign an NDA and silence what's going on within Sony Music. So that's why we're mentioning her today. And she's high up at Sony, so we're showing the trickling down aspect of how predators are protected within the music industry and how the music industry is covering up for predators. Over here we have Google CEO Dennis Hanlon accusations. Sony was covering up and protecting him for over 20 years, even though there were multiple, multiple allegations, etc., within the company. No one did anything about it until 20 plus years later. So he's an example of the toxic work environment that Sony has been allowing for decades. What's on the other side of this? Oh, and KK covered it up. Uh, Sony will know what that means. That's for New York over there. Um, drop BB records. So I want to give a hypothetical here. So let's say a survivor is coming forward to the record label about an artist of theirs who has actually assaulted them. After that, if BB records does nothing about it, then the survivor would have to go over here to Julie Swidler. And what would Julie Swidler do? Protect Sony. They're more concerned about making sure no lawsuits happen against Sony, and so therefore they're silencing survivors to protect the company. They're not protecting survivors. What's on the other side of this one? Well, yeah, that just says it. Sony equals complicity. I think I kind of uh, showed how that works. Stringer free boo, free boo from her epic NDA. Stringer knows what this means. This is directly to Stringer. And on the other side of this, we have released survivors from NDAs. So E-Predators, we're asking that these music industry labels, etc., release all survivors from their NDAs so that we are able to hear their stories and know how we can protect them and other future victims in the future. We can't come up with a solution if they keep silencing. That's why the cover-up is so devastating because we can't actually solve the problem if they continue to silence the survivors. How many predators? That's a question to Sony. I mean, I found many um, when I was looking at the website, but that's a question to Sony. How many predators are you protecting? There's supposed to be a zero tolerance policy in place. Do you know what zero means? Zero means zero. I shouldn't be finding any alleged predators within Sony Music if you were actually obeying and respecting your zero tolerance policy. All right, so here we go with some of the predators that have been at Sony. Uh, for example, R. Kelly in 2019 finally got dropped by Sony Music, but they had him all the way up to 2019, even though so many people knew what was happening there. They protected that man and they gave him a platform to have more access to more victims. Over here, we have another alleged predator, Diplo. He's been in the middle of a criminal investigation for assault, and he's in the middle of a civil suit for assault, revenge, etc. Nick Carter, alleged predator as well, has accusations of him multiple girls.
flip it over. Dr. Luke, alleged predator. French Montana, alleged predator. Chris Brown, alleged predator, still protected by Sony. So what is the zero tolerance policy if we are still having these individuals protected by Sony music? What's it about? What is it really about? And to me, ePredators is really starting to see that the music industry has been covering up sexual abuse for decades long, and we're asking for the end of that, and we're not going anywhere. I would like them to comment and respond to the questions that we have asked, because survivors want to know. And if they feel comfortable, which they should, releasing survivors from their NDA so that the public can do what they need to do to protect future victims, 